Hi, I'm George, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Photoshop Elements to divide scanned photos. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. Check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop Elements videos, and take a look at my complete training for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Normally when you're scanning photos, it's usually convenient to scan several at once. Four normally fits out pretty well onto a scanner like I have right here. And it's usually really hard to get these exactly even, exactly level. Like this one's just off just a touch. This one's a little bit better, but it's still just off just a touch. I made this one on purpose at a real bad angle in here. Now when you do a scan like this, you of course want to get these off into separate images and not all on one sheet like this. And it's fairly easy to do here inside of Photoshop Elements. The first thing you want to do is to put guidelines in between these and kind of separate them off into four sections. Go up to View and come down here it says Guides. Just make sure that, that is checked. Also make sure that Snap to Guides is checked right there. It should be. That's the default. Now I'll grab the top ruler up here and just pull straight down. That puts a guideline down and I'll position that right in between the photographs like that. Now if it's jumping a little bit on you, go up here to view come down to snap to and uncheck grid layers and document balance so that only guides is selected then it shouldn't snap right to a spot for you there we are that's just in between looks good now do the exact same thing left hand side grab your left hand side ruler and then pull that in and place that guideline in between all those photographs okay we now have them separated off into sections like that now we can easily convert these into individual photos and also fix the twist on them and get them cleaned up just down to one picture. Let me show you how all of that is done. Start off here with the rectangular marquee tool. Make sure your feathering is set at zero right here. And then come just outside, upper left hand corner there, pull in and it should snap right to those guidelines. That's why we set that up with the snap to guides. So it snaps right to the guideline. We now need to copy this, go up to Edit and Copy. And now if we go up here to File and New, Blank File, you'll see that it says Clipboard here. It's going to automatically set the clipboard size to the exact size that you have selected right there. Choose OK. There it is. Now just do Edit and Paste. And here it is. That's exactly that area right there. Paste it in here. So we now have this as a single image instead of combined onto that one page over there. Okay, let's go ahead and get the other three done. I'll just get that minimized out of the way. Just go over here. First, come down to your tools. Make sure that the marquee is on the left-hand side here, new selection. Come up right-hand corner and pull down. Same thing. Edit, copy. File, new, blank file. There it is. Edit, paste. There's our next picture, okay. Bottom left hand corner, same exact trick, just pull out to those guidelines, edit, copy, file new, blank file, choose OK, edit, paste, there's that one, and bottom right hand corner again, just outside, and pull up like that, and then edit, copy, file new, blank file, choose OK, and then edit, paste. Okay, we now have those four pictures all on their own, on their own file. So we can now just save this background image. Let me just minimize that for a second. We can deselect if you want to, and then save this. File save. Choose save. There we go. And then close that down. We're done with that. And now we have our other pictures. If I go here to the photo bin, see there's our four pictures. Let's start off with this one here. This has the biggest tilt on it. So it's the best one to demonstrate this on. Now I want to first get this thing straightened out and then we're going to remove any excess that may be left in here. So go over here, this is a little tool right down here in the modify section, it's that one right there. Let me just dock this up here, there we go. And this is the straighten tool. Now where it says rotate all layers, that's okay, leave that alone. Auto fit edges, you do not want that checked. You don't want to do anything over here. You want this one right there. The first option, this is grow or shrink canvas to fit. So it's going to shrink this canvas size down to fit just that image. It's going to be a little bit off, but we'll fix that in just a second. Okay, so take this tool. You see this little cross here right there? Come down to one of your corners. I'll go to the bottom left right here and click on that corner and then pull straight up so you can see that line right there. 
pull that straight up to the top corner and let go and then elements uses that to realign or rotate the picture around now this might be fine for you the little white edge that might be all you need this would be perfect in that case you're done now if you want to get rid of that little white line out there we can do that as well let us grab the magic wand tool up here now normally the tolerance is set at 30 let's just set this tolerance down here to 5 so it's a pretty low tolerance it should be set at new and then click right into that white edge and you should see just that edge selected like that okay now let's go up here to select and then inverse and that should select just the picture now maybe off just by a little bit in here I want to bring it in just a little bit so let's go up to select again and then come down to modify and contract and I'll contract that by just one pixel and that should be enough it makes it just one pixel smaller and then we should be fine now we have that selected go up to the image menu and click on crop and that looks like there's still a little bit of a white line left so I'm just going to back up a touch just do undo crop go back up to select and modify and contract let's bring it down another pixel and that should be okay this time okay back up to image and crop and then deselect and there we go there's your nice clean image straightened and cut out of that big original scan of four images let's just do this one more time to so get this whole sequence down photo bin I'll grab oh that one right there that's kind of off at an odd angle it's not really crooked though let me just grab a different one I want one that's actually crooked here okay this one has a bit of a tilt to it that's fine we'll use this one same thing I'm just going to dock this like that easier to see and then we'll grab that straighten tool make sure it's on the first option over here come down to the bottom left hand corner and right at that corner click and then drag up you can see there's your line and put that at the top corner right there let go that straightens the picture out there's that thin white line again if you don't care about that that's fine let's go to the magic wand tolerance at five make sure it's set at new and then click just right into that edge and that should select that edge and then select inverse and then select modify and contract and we went down one pixel twice so I'll set this one at two this time choose okay and that should bring it just inside that picture it looks like it does go up to image come down to crop and then deselect and there we go there's that second picture nicely removed from that original scan and now it's in its own file then simply save these give them a new name and you're all set so there you go that's how to easily cut a multiple picture scan and then have each picture in its own individual file and also nice neat and straight now if you like this video make sure you hit that like button don't forget to click on share and subscribe check out my channel for hundreds more photoshop elements videos and definitely take a look at my complete training course for photoshop elements and the link for that is right down there in the description all right and i'll see you next time